So, as I just said, I went outside to uh, get some better 3G connection and download the data. Data download is finished. It has now erased uh, the memory card and it's now writing to the memory card. So, uh, this now flashes the NAF data update cycle 1705 for uh, 430 with WAS actually on the card. As you can see, this is happening at a tremendous speed. I mean, it's a um, 16 megabytes of data that need to be written, and that takes a while. So this plane is actually quite nicely equipped. Uh, it is uh, full IFR, two radio heads, was GPS, and it has satellite weather. That's a that's a receiver for uh, for satellite weather, not XM as you would have in the United States, but uh, in Europe we use a, a service over Iridium. So this one is a receiver if you have a subscription for getting weather. Um, uh, via an Iridium internet um, service. Uh, as you can see, we still have an uh, an ADF radio head in this plane. Uh, amazingly enough, this ADF radio actually still works, though there are really not many stations left uh, in Germany. And we have an uh, electronic carbon monoxide detector in the plane that uh, is uh, a lot more precise than the, than the quantum eyes that you have to uh, change every year anyway. Well, as you can see, it's a, a carburetted plane with a 160 horsepower carburetted engine. Uh, we have a second uh, altimeter for IFR and uh, uh, a mode S transponder which are mandatory in Europe. You cannot, can no longer fly with the with the mode, mode C transponder in Europe. Other than that, pretty standard stuff. Uh, very nice uh, sheepskin headrests. That's quite a nice touch. <laughs> All right, we are still at... So if you ever complain about download speeds at NaviGraph, or if you ever complain how complicated data updates in X-Plane R, I will send you a link to this video so you can uh, suffer through um, all the hassle that it is updating the, the NAV data in a real plane that is getting the correct memory card, then driving home with the memory card that doesn't work, then going out to the airport again to, to, to pull the correct memory card, and then having a, a 3G connection inside a hangar where there's no download speed. Uh, and, and, and then waiting for this flash process of 16 megabytes on this stupid drive. 16 megabytes takes forever. Um, yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to correct drive. Then you're, you're sitting here in the cold. It's really cold outside. So whenever someone complains about NAF data updates in X-Plane and the stuff being complicated, yes, I'm going to send you the link to this video to see, um, how much better it is in X-Plane, uh, than in the real world. All right, looks like we're almost done here. And then we're going to put it in here, uh, fire it up and, and see uh, if we were successful. All right, almost done. There you go. Oh, now it needs to verify. Oh my god. Okay. Next phase, verifying. All right. While this is doing that, I can take you uh, outside a little bit.
So as you can see by the coloring scheme, very nice uh, uh, 70s touch to this plane with a beautiful uh, brown and, and, and yellow colors. Um, all right, we're almost done here. There you go. Finalizing, whatever that means. Here we go. All right, so it says no more updates available in this cycle. Uh, they also prevent you from downloading it more than once. And if something goes wrong and you flash the wrong card, then you have to call Jeppesen and, uh, so that they give you another download. So it says here in the notification area that it was successfully transferred. So we close the program and we eject the drive. There you go. All right. Oh, let's see. Okay, we're done with Windows. Get this from the reader. And uh, un unlock the card and slide it, slide it in here. Uh, no, that's wrong. It's like USB. Always get it wrong. There you go. That's better. Uh, it slides in better. So that goes in here and you lock it into position. And now, uh, well, make sure uh, flap secure. Yeah, that looks good. There you go, Avi Aviation Database, May 25. Excellent. That's what we wanted. All right. Who put this control lock on? This is wrong. Whoever did this is an idiot. Because it's for a reason that the that the control lock. Ah. There you go. It is for a reason that the control lock blocks the access to uh, the ignition key. All right. That's it. <laughs>